In this video, we install a Windows 11 VM on a desktop and log in with Windows Hello. Hello everyone, I'm Travis and this is Seraldos. Recently, I've spent some time with Azure AD and passwordless authentication. I wonder how many CISOs trembled with rage or paranoia the first time they heard that phrase, passwordless authentication. Anyway, I need a way to test different passwordless authentication options on a client workstation. Normally, I'd spin up an Azure VM, but I need a USB interface for smart cards and cameras. I don't want to purchase and run another desktop. One of the advantages of moving my lab to the cloud is more floor space for my collection of Fabergé eggs, and I don't want to give that up. So instead, I decided a VM on my desktop should do the trick. Before we get to that, please like, subscribe, share with a friend, and click the bell icon for notifications of new content. Also, if you're interested in Azure Virtual Desktop or hybrid identities with Azure AD, check out my courses available on udemy.com. Back to it. To get this to work, I need pass-through USB from the desktop host to the VM. Let's rule out Hyper-V right off the bat. I tried it, didn't work. I know that there's a way to pass USB through with the RDP client, but for this to work, I need USB availability at the start, just like local hardware. I landed on VMware Workstation Pro version 16 and probably a few versions before support pass-through that work with smart cards and cameras. I tried the VMware player, but that doesn't support a TPM, and I need that for Windows 11. You can get a 30-day trial of VMware Workstation if you want to try before you buy. The steps are probably similar for VMware Fusion for all my Mac fans out there. The documentation for VMware Workstation doesn't specifically indicate support for Windows 11 yet, but I was able to get it to work. In this video, we're going to install Windows 11 and VMware Workstation, and then after that, we'll test USB pass-through with a Windows Hello-enabled camera. I didn't want to blow my budget on a USB camera. I already spent way too much on the one I'm recording this on. I found the Lenovo 500 FHD webcam. It supports Windows Hello, and at $40 US, wasn't that bad on the budget. The video quality is okay. It's a $40 webcam, so my expectations weren't that high. Good enough for Windows Hello and the occasional Zoom meeting. If you're interested in trying this at home, I have affiliate links below. That helps this channel and is greatly appreciated. Let's get on with it and install Windows 11 on VMware Workstation. Let's start in VMware Workstation. Honestly, I thought the days of giving VMware money was over after moving to the cloud. Oh well, I always like their products. We'll create a new VM. Select Custom. Hardware compatibility of Workstation 16 will work for this. If you're on a Mac, I suspect Fusion would work the same way, but I don't own a Mac, so I can't be certain. We'll go to Next, Install from a Disk Image, and then we'll select the ISO. I got this image from an MSDN subscription. Here's where we have to use Windows 10 or later, 64-bit. Windows 11 qualifies as later, I guess. Give it a name. I'm going with the alter creative name, Windows 1103. Select a file location for this VM. Select UEFI for the firmware type. Windows 11 requires UEFI. Set the number of processors and RAM. Make sure it meets the Windows 11 minimum specs. Two CPUs and four gigs of RAM have worked fine in other labs. Bridged or NAT should work for the network type. I'm going to change this one to bridged. Set the IO controller to LSI logic SAS. Leave it set to the recommended drive type. We'll create a new virtual disk. I'll set the drive to 120 gigs. 60 is a little restrictive, probably fine for a quick lab, but Windows updates will chew that up in no time at all. Also, I prefer to have a single file for the disk instead of splitting it up across multiple files. Select the location for the disk. Once done, click Finish, but don't start the VM just yet. Now, Windows 11 needs the TPM or Trusted Platform Module and UEFI to install. We have this VM set to UEFI firmware, but no TPM. Let's go into the VM settings, go to Add, 
and there's our trusted platform module. So we'll click on that. Oh, denied. We have to encrypt the VM first. So let's do that next. We'll cancel out of here and go into options. Go to access control and select encrypt. You do need to enter a password. This password is required to start the VM. So don't lose the password or you'll end up having to reinstall the OS. Now go back to hardware and add. Trusted platform module and finish. Now we have the virtual TPM added to the VM. And yes, for those astute viewers out there, this could have been done during the initial hardware setup. Click OK and let's start the VM. Be ready to click the screen and push any key. That comes up fast and it doesn't leave you much time. If you're new to VMware Workstation, you can click Control and Alt to free the cursor. Let's walk through the setup. I'm going to fast forward through a lot of this since you probably already know how to install Windows. We'll click Windows 11 Pro, accept the terms. I'll select a custom install and we'll add it to the drive we have created. Next, this step will take a few minutes. Now's a good time to pause and grab a cup of coffee, tea, or whatever beverage is appropriate. Maybe some Glenlivet 18. It's only 11 a.m. here, but it's got to be 5 o'clock somewhere. Here we are. Let's walk through the setup. I'll fast forward through a lot of this for the sake of brevity. And we'll give it a name. Now we wait for the post rename boot. We'll set this up for personal use. I'm going to create a local account. This example is simply to demonstrate the camera functionality and I don't need a cloud account for that. By the way, stay tuned to this channel to see how signing in with a security key and an Azure AD account works. We'll go to sign in options and offline account. If you installed Windows 11 Enterprise, you'll see an option to domain join the computer instead. Follow those steps to set up a local account. And here we have to set up some security questions. And we can click next through that. And more waiting. There may seem to be a lot of waiting, but if you've ever installed Windows 95 with floppy disks, you'll know this is way better. And for some reason, it seemed like the last floppy disk was always bad. Here we are, we're signed in with the local account. If we just log off, and we go to sign in, we get prompted for a password. Now that we have Windows 11 running in VMware, next let's set up Windows Hello. Plug in the camera to the USB port on the host computer. We get a pop-up to connect the camera to the host or the VM. As you could probably guess, select the client. If you don't get the box, you can always right click on the VM, go to removable devices, and select the camera, and select connect. Now if we open up the camera app, you should be able to see my face. And there I am. Good, so that's working. We now have USB pass-through for the camera from the host to the virtual machine. Let's set up Windows Hello next. Go to Start, Settings. Click your account on the top left 
and go to sign in options. Select facial recognition and set up. We'll get started. And look at the camera. After that, we have to set up a pin. So we have to enter our password here. And then a pin. And if you want to go crazy, you can include letters and symbols. But for me, I'll just use a four digit pin. Now let's sign out. And I'll look at the camera. That did it. We logged in with Windows Hello and Facial Recognition on a VM running in VMware Workstation. I hope you found this useful for installing Windows 11 in VMware Workstation and passing through the USB camera. Don't forget to like and subscribe and click the bell icon for notifications of new content. Thanks for watching.